Welcome to San Notations, where you see if a film holds up to our expectations. Today, we're going to be watching a movie called Your Name. Now, originally, I was supposed to post, this is Helios, by the way, I was supposed to post a film called Quackers, but Bard had a good idea last, where we should do a romance film of some kind, and original, he wanted to do, like, a bad romantic comedy, and I'm like, nah. We tried to make, we tried to plan it, but due to schedules, we couldn't make it work. So I was going to, so I'll start editing Quackers. And then I'm like, okay. Um, I took a break for a couple hours on a couple days ago. And I watched a film called Your Name. Now Your Name is a Japanese anime film that came out last year. It's a romance drama. And I started watching it, finished it. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do one on this one. So Quackers is going to come out next week. Look forward to that. Um, and I'm sure it'll help group A anyway, since they started with school. And I'm sure they're having issues of trying to get everyone together. So I'm sure this will going to help them, help them in the long run. So they don't have to worry about trying to come up with something for next week. So we're going to be talking about your name today. And I already saw it. So what were my expectations before it? I knew it was going to be a romance comedy. I knew it was going to be um, a sad, depressing movie where it was just, just sadness and crying. And Because it's the same guy who did the film, uh, same director who did The Garden of Words, which I don't know if you ever seen that film. That film is a tear fest. I saw that and I was just just a mess for like an hour. <laughs> I don't know what's up with Japan, but they can make some real depressing good movies. And I expected your name to be exactly that. So I didn't know much about it going in. So I was like, okay, cool. It looks pretty. It looks like a good story. I've heard great reviews. I'm just going to dive right in. So I dove right into the movie. And it's a body swap film, which I was not expecting. So this guy, this high school guy or boy who lives in Tokyo, his name is Taki. And he switches with a girl out in the country named, uh, oh God, I cannot pronounce her name. Matsua? Matsua? So there's a girl in, named Matsua in a rural town out in the country not too far from Tokyo. So whenever they sleep, when they wake up, they switch bodies and they live each other's lives. So uh, shenanigans ensue. <laughs> They try to figure out what the heck's going on. They leave little notes for each other. Uh, so when they, so whenever they wake up, they um, know what happened the day before, and they actually start setting rules for themselves and um, on what to do and what not to do, so they don't ruin each other's lives. So uh, gradually, they start helping each other in their lives in different ways. Like uh, Matsua helps Taki get a date with a girl, with a girl that goes to a, a university girl, I guess. And amongst that, I mean, that's pretty much all. I, I mean, that's pretty much all that there is to it is that he helps her um Matsua helps Taki get a date and Taki helps Matsua in her everyday life make it a little more interesting and um it turns out the twist of the movie is that Matsua is three years in the past that Taki is changing bodies with a girl that's three years in the past I was sitting here just going what that's weird I didn't know how to take that I guess, because I wasn't expecting that at all. That just came out of the woodwork. And you come to find out, after Taki tried to go and um, go to the village that she lives at, because, of course, he's been there several times, so he knows the location, and he tries to look for it. He comes to find out that three years ago, that there was a meteor, uh, not a meteor, a comet, I was going over the earth and it broke off and pieces of it came crashing down to the earth's atmosphere and crashed into a rural town in Tokyo, AKA where the girl lived, Matsuo. And apparently she died because he looked into records on who died and stuff. And everyone he knew when he was her, including her, are all dead. So he ends up falling apart at the seams, trying to figure out if there's any way he can go back because by this point they stop switching bodies because of the event but he's hope but he goes down to this ritual this uh shrine site that was one of the last things he did when he was still in her body and he ends up switching bodies with her again and he warns her about the comet and he tries to uh between her taki and matsua they try to save the town and um no one believes them and matsua ends up having to do it on her own because they switch back and it turns out Matsuwa does save the town. The me uh, comet breaks apart, meteor crashes down upon the earth onto the town and it's destruction. That that spot where they were at, if there was anyone there they would all be dead but you come to find out later on that they all lived. They all pretty much re relocated to Tokyo and at the very end uh, Matsuwa and Taki, they end up forgetting each other's names but they know that they exist. Like if that makes sense because they still when they see each other cause they see each other on a train they're like in their probably their 20s at this point and they 
freak out and they get off the train and try to find each other. They see each other, but they don't remember each other's names. And basically, he's like, hey, I think I know you. And she's like, hey, I think I know you too. While they're just both crying their eyes out. And I think Matsuwa says, I love you. And it kind of ends right there. Now, let me tell you, this roller coaster ride of a movie, I was depressed. <laughs> I was a freaking mess. I was literally crying on the floor. Because <laughs> I get really into these movies. And yeah, I was like crying, like, oh my God, we finally get together. Oh, what? Yeah. Woo. <laughs> I was a mess. An utter, just disgusting mess of a person. <laughs> so, if you like those types of movies and you feel like you just want to cry your eyes out for like 20 minutes, watch Your Name. It's a good one. I also want to watch a silent, a silent Voice. I think it's what it's called. It's about a kid who bullies a deaf girl and later on in life he tries to find her to apologize. That's another movie that seems like this type of, like, this type of line. Where it's very emotional and you cry at the very end of it and stuff. So yeah, uh, this is your name, and I give it a ooh rating. I give it a a nine out of ten. Yes, a nine out of ten from Helios. It was beautifully animated. The art was fantastic, and the story was great. The dub was actually pretty good from Funimation. Might I add, I wasn't expecting that. But that yeah, the dub was pretty good. So yeah, watch your name if you want a good cry movie on valentine's day or a good romantic movie watch what's your name so yeah thanks for uh joining me for this week's annotations and i shall see you guys next time wednesday will not be temple of helios so you know where it shouldn't be um there'll be another video but the next week is when temple of helios will be on so thanks guys and i hope you guys have a good valentine's day till then uh till next time i see y'all peace